Let's talk about Rabi Wallet. Rabi Wallet is a multi-chain crypto wallet developed by DBank with a focus on making the multi-chain Web3 experience more seamless and secure. Rabi supports NFTs and many cryptos, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT on over 100 EVM chains. It was first made available as a Chrome extension and desktop app, but recently DBank just rolled out its beta version mobile app. Keep in mind, that while the app is in beta, you must already have an existing mobile wallet app such as MetaMask or Trust Wallet installed on your phone to use Ravi's mobile wallet. So if you don't already have that, go ahead and create a MetaMask wallet using our guide right here. Now, while it's in beta, you still get the benefits of an extra layer of security when interacting with smart contracts via its transaction simulation feature, allowing you to see the outcome for any given transactions. It also alerts you about any anomalies or risks found with a transaction or smart contract interaction. All these without the risk of importing your seed phrase. In this video, we'll give you a complete guide on using Rabi's new mobile wallet. If you interact with dApps and smart contracts, especially on numerous blockchains, you don't want to miss this video. To install Rabi on your phone, head over to the App Store on iOS or Google Play on Android and search for Rabi Wallet. Select Rabi Wallet by DeBank and install the app. For Android users, you can also download and install the APK file directly from the website at rabi.io. Once you have Rabi Wallet installed on your device, it's time to get your wallet set up. Tap on Get Started to start setting up your wallet. To connect Rabi to your existing wallet app, select the wallet provider that you're using and Rabi will redirect you to your existing mobile wallet. On the other wallet app, you will be prompted with a connection request. Simply approve the Rabi Wallet connection request to import your existing wallet into Rabi Wallet. Besides mobile wallet apps, Rabi also allows you to connect certain hardware wallets from Ledger, Keystone, and OneKey. Now that you've connected your wallet with Rabi, it's time to explore the basic wallet features. To receive crypto on Rabi, tap on the receive button at the top of your dashboard. In the pop-up, choose the network that you would like to receive crypto on. As Rabi supports quite a lot of blockchains, you can also type the name of your desired network into the search bar. After tapping on the network that you're receiving crypto on, you can then copy the wallet address or scan the QR code provided by the app. Just make sure to double check that you've selected the correct network before initiating the transaction. To send crypto, tap on the send button at the top of your dashboard. In the send page, tap on the box at the top to bring up the list of supported networks and select or search for your desired network from this list. After that, paste the destination wallet address into the enter address text box. Click on the button to the left of the box at the bottom, select the crypto that you'd like to send and type in the amount that you wanna send. Remember to double check that you entered the correct network wallet address, crypto, and amount. If everything is in order, click on the red text at the bottom to grant Rabi the permission to transfer the funds to a non-whitelisted wallet address. If the wallet address is frequently used and trusted, tap on Add to whitelist to grant Rabi the permission to make transfers to this wallet in the future. Then tap on send to bring up the transaction details. Here you will want to check that details such as the type of token, amount, and address is correct. You might notice security alerts in the details and you must resolve the warnings before you can proceed with the transaction. Security alerts usually show up for issues such as first time transfer to a wallet or transfers to non-whitelisted or suspicious wallets and more. On top of that, Rabi will simulate the result of the transaction. In this case, we are transferring ETH out of Rabi wallet, so the result shows the amount of ETH that is about to leave the wallet. It's recommended to leave the gas settings as default to ensure the transaction goes smoothly. However, it's still wise to make sure that the amount of gas fees you're paying is within your reasonable expectations before initiating the transaction. Once you've processed the transaction details, tap on the begin signing process button at the bottom and you will be brought to your connected mobile wallet 
to confirm the transaction. Other than just simple transfers, Rabi also allows you to explore dApps within the app itself. Simply tap on dApps at the bottom of the dashboard and you will be shown a list of dApps that you can access through Rabi. From this list, tap on any dApp to add it to your favorites. You can also search for a particular dApp by clicking on the search icon at the top right and type in the name of the chosen dApp. Once you've entered a dApp, you can connect your wallet and start interacting with the dApp through smart contracts. The process of signing any connections or transactions will be similar to signing a transfer as shown earlier. You'll be able to review simulations of the result of a smart contract interaction, as well as being informed of any security issues with a particular transaction. As Rabi Wallet offers multi-chain support across over 100 EVM chains, you'll be able to access dApps seamlessly across multiple blockchains of your choice. So we've covered everything you need to know to start using Rabi Wallet on mobile. Rabi Wallet has been a great wallet for many on desktop as it provides many key features for those looking to be more secure when exploring the Web3 ecosystem. However, it is still worth noting that Rabi Wallet's mobile app is still in beta and the user experience might be buggy for some. Nevertheless, Rabi Wallet is attempting to provide a seamless experience for dApps on over 100 blockchains and important security features into one neat package on your phone. So try it out, let us know how it goes for you, and that's all for this video. If you found this video to be helpful, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe for more crypto tutorials in the future, and I'll see you next time. Bye.